Hello, this is Joanna, Joanna the Medium, and thank you so much for coming back. A uh, little bit of an intro. First of all, thank you so much for watching, for liking, for subscribing, and for sharing. It means the world to me. Thank you so much for all your comments. I read every single one of them, and even if I don't respond to most of them because it's um, not feasible, I, I do read every single one of them as well as your emails. Um, if you would like a private session, of course, you can contact me with the information down below. I have included links below for you. These are uh, general readings, so they will not make sense to all of you. They shouldn't make sense to all of you. Um, also, if one sign does not make sense to you, as in sun sign, listen to your rising sign and your moon sign. And I find uh, not only for myself, but also from those who comment that the additional signs tend to paint a more complete picture of what is going on. Um, Many of these messages will not make sense to you towards um, until the end, third week or the end of November. Um, a lot of times, or in, in, in the readings that I did for November, uh, many times the timeline was being referred to down the road in uh, towards the end of the month and towards December. So if this doesn't make sense to you at the beginning of November, do re-listen to it towards the end of November as you will uh, know exactly uh, what this pertains to. Some of the situations will happen and they won't happen at the beginning. They'll happen towards the end of November. So that way you will have no understanding of it when you are listening to it um, at the very beginning. Um, November, the October was a little bit interesting. The last two weeks for October for me felt very energe energetically all over the place. I felt like I was being pulled from different directions. I don't know if it had to do with any kind of alignments uh, of the stars or planets. And if you do find it was the same for you, um, you're not alone. But if you also know why that is, um, you know, feel free to enlighten me because I don't know much about astrology. Actually, I don't know anything about astrology, to be honest. And I think that's all I have for you. November seems to be um, at least the first two, three weeks. It seems to be a little bit more chill as I call it, um, certainly a little bit more so than uh, the last two weeks of October. So it looks like we're getting a bit of an emotional break, which is always a very welcomed um, aspect as far as I'm concerned. And I think that's all I have for you. Again, thank you so much for watching, for sharing, for liking, and for subscribing. And um, without further ado, let's go to the readings. See you soon. Hello and welcome back. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun sign, Moon sign, and Rising sign. I do have uh, three cards face down. I will start off with um, channeled message first and let's see what we get for November 2016 for the sign of Cancer. Emotional freedom is being underlined um, in my vision. Some of you are seeking emotional freedom. Some of you are in a process of experiencing emotional freedom. So those two aspects are opposite of each other. And these two uh, separate aspects will uh, fit different people. Um, I'm going to start off with those who are looking at wanting emotional freedom first. I'm hearing the words that your ideas need reconsideration. These are plans that you have had in your mind, plans that you may have wanted to put forward to um, plans that you may have wanted to uh, put in place. However, something has either put a stop to those plans or there is a delay in those plans. I hear the words child support. For some of you, this is going to, I have to write this down, this is going to be dealing with a custody case where child support is being discussed, minimized, or addressed in a very considerable 
way, in a big way. For some of you, um, you are going through a custody battle and the plans that you have wanted to put forward with respect to, I hear the word alimony, child support, and visitation rights has been put on hold or halted altogether. I'm also hearing that this is a time of a lot of discussions for different parties and he's saying to me that it is that situation that is causing you considerable amount of emotional pain, hence you needing to have emotional freedom or you yearning for emotional freedom. I also hear the words, your past is the past. There's no need to look back or bring it forward as in regrets. And he says, the moment you regret is the, mo is the moment when you keep yourself stuck in your past. Allowing yourself to draw conclusions and gain wisdom or information from your past is a very essential part of your learning process, of, of our learning process. But continuously going back with regret is like taking one step forward and two steps back because energetically it never allows you to move forward and keep moving forward. So the word regret is being shown to me and highlighted as something that needs to be looked at and addressed and assessed or reassessed uh, regarding how you not only contributed, contribute to it, but how you move forward with your life. So in simplest terms, what I'm hearing is, the message I'm getting is, stop regretting, start moving forward. If you can't change your past, there is zero point in being stuck there. Extract information that will help you move forward, but don't allow yourself to be stuck in the way things once were. Okay. And he's saying to me that your regrets are causing you um, a headache. And this is metaphorically speaking or physically speaking. And then I hear the words, there's no place like tomorrow, which I totally don't understand what that means. And I'm asking him to give me more. He says, just move forward, keep moving forward. If you're dealing with a custody case or if you're dealing with child support or alimony uh, and somebody's being stubborn, maybe it's you, you need to consider the consequences of you being stuck in your position. So this is going to mean different things to different people, but there's definitely a need to consider and reconsider your past efforts. I'm going to ask you for more clarification here. He says, ask them to move forward without regret. So whatever has happened in the past, regard, irrespective of how you feel about it now, you living in regret or constantly regretting what was or what you did or didn't do is going to do absolutely nothing. It's going to do diddly squat other than to keep you stuck with where you are and give you the proverbial headache. He says, it's time to move on from your heartache. This heartache could be pertaining to your partner or this heartache could be pertaining to the ideas you had, but didn't 
come into fruition or the ideas were halted or they were they were stopped they were not uh, they didn't go forward for whatever reason and he's saying to me there is a disagreement or there was a disagreement um, and two parties were not able to see eye to eye so the message for those of you who are looking for emotional freedom is move forward. Now, for those of you who are experiencing emotional freedom, I hear the word healing. You are in the process of healing, not only physically, but also mentally and emotionally. This is a time of tremendous gains, I uh, health-wise, but also uh, gains wisdom wise i want to say emotional wisdom and it is also a time of tremendous ability to bring yourself to a place that will allow you to fulfill the rest of your journey in a way that you're wishing for so uh, what i just said i almost have to go back and figure out what I just said but basically I think what he's trying to say is you're in a great place right now where you can plan for the future and the future that you are wanting to uh, not the one you had um, seen possibly before the healing took place now this again this could be emotional healing and this could also be physical healing or both for that matter all of a sudden I'm seeing butterflies all over this image and butterflies to me signify freedom, freedom of, I hear freedom of existence, but also freedom of being able to live. Now that's, that's a quite a substantial statement. So for some of you, perhaps you were dealing with health issues that, you know, the prognosis was not great or you were, um, very concerned and that seems to be no longer the case so whoever this is for congratulations and good for you and then i hear the words now you can look forward towards your future um it's this seems to be health related but it can also uh seem it can also feel like you have gone through a breakup perhaps and that's in the past and right now you're regaining your strength, you're in a healing process, you are becoming more healthy, and your prospect on life and your future seems to look so much brighter than it once than it was, I hear the words few sh short few short months ago. Few short months ago? Few few months ago. Sometimes I can't speak. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the cards now. First card representing your past or what has contributed to where you are today and we have the card called crown chakra but this is shown to me in reverse crown chakra is the energy center here it is our connection to the universe to the divine to god if you want to call it that to uh, spirit to uh, all there is whatever name you want to choose but i want to ask why this is shown to me in reverse I hear the words um, you were you had difficulty with connecting to your spiritual self because of what you were going through and what that tells me is you were going through something traumatic uh, whether a breakup or a health situation and the stress prevented you from not being connected spiritually um in the way you would have wanted to this could have shown itself physically as inability to hear your intuition inability to connect with the ones you love that are on the other side or anything to do with intuitiveness or your spirituality or simply maybe you just gave up on spirituality because you lost all hope that's in the past so i don't want to spend too much time on this the present card is illustrated by recognition and reward so this is physical aspect this is three of pentacles 
as you see this gentleman he is standing on a platform and it's almost like he's taking a stance and he is being honored the medal on his body his neck indicates there is a distinction here and i hear the words be proud of yourself be proud of your accomplishments so for some of you um and i'm hearing uh, health here so for some of you you have come a long way with regards to your health and you are in the road to recovery and that road seems to feel very solid it seems to feel very firm and it is indeed very firm there is salt there's a lot of solidness to it um, i'm also hearing that it was hard work and it required tremendous amount of dedication on your part to be where you are today so that's for those of you who are dealing uh, with health and those of you who have been dealing with uh, maybe a breakup and this is where you are right now you've come a long way now for the other group of you who are looking for emotional stability I hear the words be kind to yourself okay if you allow yourself to recognize that you did the best you could with the tools that you were given you will have less ability to hold yourself hostage in other words you will not be stuck in beating yourself up over what was or what I should have done, or I should have done this versus that, or I should have known better. So the, for those of you who are looking for emotional stability, stability, um, you're in a place where you're being asked to acknowledge that you did the best you could. So in other words, you know, acknowledgement of yourself, recognition within yourself that you've done the best you could. The next card signifies possible future, but also advice. Hmm. beautiful card transformation this is a major arcana this is what is happening deep within you and as an advice card allow yourself to be transformed this is a time of your life where many things are taking place that have the potential to not only transform you but to completely change your outlook on life and as an advice card i'm seeing that some of you may be resisting that change some of you have to let go of some of the things that you envisioned but they no longer are it's not that they're not valid but they're no longer are, are able to be put in place and i hear the words allow yourself to transform allow yourself to go through this dark tunnel to come out on the other end and see yourself in a completely different light light so again for those of you who are dealing with um court cases custody child divorce uh, this seems to be a very dark time, I'll call it. And this proverbial tunnel is being shown to me. And it's a very narrow tunnel. I do see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I'm not near it. Near it. And you're being asked not to be stuck in the tunnel. You're asked to dig yourself out of it. And I'm hearing you have the strength to do it others can only help you but they cannot do this for you so that's for those of you who are looking for emotional stability for those of you who are already in it who are already experiencing it you are going through a time of transformation and he's saying to me november is going to be a magnificent time for you where you will recognize aspects of yourself you haven't quite seen before and this is it's almost like whatever experience you went through whether it's a health issue or a breakup situation 
the, the month of November and part of December, the first half of December, is going to allow you to look at yourself almost like um, you've grown up. You have matured aspects of yourself that I'm not going to say needed maturing, but aspects of yourself that you almost didn't know you had. And it's being shown to me as a beautiful recognition on your part of who you are. And also a recognition again of the work you have done. I also hear you have done this alone, though people did help you. But he's saying your frame of mind is what got you through the darkest moments and the most challenging of circumstances. And I also hear the words, you never give up, you never gave up. Again, this is going to be for those who are dealing or have been dealing with health or a breakup, um, but that's in the past. So two different category of people. I'm not sensing anything about work um, in this particular reading. It seems to be very much connected to relationships, um, health, and definitely to do with emotions, a lot of emotions. If you look at this lady here, and I always show this, um, she is charging forward on a horse. This signifies speed speedy movement forward. She is wearing a green dress, which, sign which signifies emotional healing, healing of the heart. The wings behind her indicate a sense of freedom, moving forward fear fearlessly uh, with a sense of freedom. The darkness behind her signifies that she is moving from the darkness, but the purple here also signifies that she is almost guided spiritually okay and i think that's all i have on this i'm just gonna i keep seeing the letter r i don't know why um for some of you perhaps there is a letter r in your la in your name first or last and this could be anywhere in the name o or there's something with a letter r that's significant maybe your partner your child or um I don't know how that is. I'm also seeing the number 15 and 19, two different numbers. Somehow this will resonate with those of you who this is meant to resonate. This could be a birth date or something significant that you will go, oh, I get it right away. Number 15 and 19. And I think that's all I have. I hope this made sense. I wish you best of luck in november thank you so much for sharing for watching for subscribing and for liking of course if you would like a private session you can contact me that information is right below the booking link is also there for your convenience i look forward to seeing you again in december and if you feel inclined or inspired to write how this has affected you or how this fits with you i would love to read it i read every single one of them until um, december thank you so much for watching and see you soon bye